boom 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 let's go back to my room where we can play games all night and we can play games all night <laughs> Hey everybody, old guy gamer here playing American Truck Sim. I'm gonna drag a file over into my screen here so you can take a look at what I'm looking at. Today we are not playing American Truck Sim, we're just doing another how-to video on how to install mods. And I think I have an idea of how this video is gonna go. I'm just gonna see if I can pull it off. So I got a uh, comment from a guy named Don Whitaker 2116 on one of my previous videos. I'm just gonna call you Don for short. Asking how to add mods to the game. He admitted to be an older guy and hadn't quite figured it out yet. But I'm going to show you how to do it the way I do it. So down here on your taskbar, at the bottom of your screen, there's a folder icon. Just click on that. That'll bring some version of this up. You know, it might be on one of the things on the side. Just click the home and then you'll be on the same screen where I'm at. Now your things down here will be different. This is all just my recent things. You can see the videos I've been making. But what you're going to do is you're going to click on documents. And then here is a list of a bunch of files, which all I'm concerned about is the American Truck Sim file at the very top. So let's click that, double click that. And then right here, second one in for me is a mod folder. We're gonna double click on that. You will find it's empty. So the reason I did this is because I wanna show you that it's empty. Um, and then that way, when I get the mod loaded in, you'll see where it goes, because this is the file where it's gonna go. And you'll also see what it looks like at that time and compare it to this right here. We're going to go down here to the internet. ATS mods. Um, this is uh, Reddit talking about mods, ATS mods, and mod sats. Those are the two that I use. Let's just go to ATS mods. This is a list of. This is going to be almost always free mods. I don't know if I've ever found a pay mod on this website, but I don't know if there is one. I'll just say just be careful. There could be a pay version for a mod on this website. I, I don't remember ever seeing one. I think it's all free, but I just don't want to put the caveat out there that they might not all be free. So just read the fine print before you click on the stuff and download it. I was gonna sh navigate all around this website and show you all the mods that are available, but I think the first one looks pretty cool. We might just download that one just to make it easy. This is all the apps that are available. You just gotta click on the different headings and it'll tell you all the stuff that's available. There's different ways to search. Um, the mods available whether you're looking for cars and stuff to add to traffic or cars to drive even buses interiors you got all the little gimmicks that you can add to the interior that you know float around on the windshield or lay on the floor i'm going to click on this one because it looks interesting enough to me so the one bad thing about these websites that offer free ats mods is there are ads everywhere so the first thing I want to point out is know the difference between a banner ad and a download link. Um, down here at the bottom, you'll see the little HTML tag show up when you hover over a ad. See, it says HTTPS ad dot double click dot net. That's an ad. <laughs> so when we click that, we want to download this mod. We want to make sure we're clicking on the download link not an ad that says the word download that is the one drawback to these websites is I, I wish they didn't allow those ads that are so tricky looking this is one of those ads i was talking about that looks like it could be to start a download but it's not it's an ad hmm start pdf that looks like an ad yep there's an ad right there start pdf that's an ad right there here's the download mod let's click on let's hover over this link and make sure it's the right one see that's going to a website that's going to a web page this is where we're going to go to download this mod. So click on that link because we found it to be the right one. We're going to minimize this ad or get rid of that ad. Now that we're on the second page for that um, mod, let's find the link. So what we're looking for is a file download that will give us this .scs file extension to put in that mod folder that I showed you in the documents section on your computer. Click the button below, generate download link for ATS.CCS. Click download on the second. So let's hover over this and make sure it's the right thing. It doesn't pop up, so it might be the right one. Let's just make sure there's nothing else down here. I'm trying to dumb this down for everybody. I know if you know this stuff already, just imagine I'm trying to teach someone who doesn't know what they're doing, okay? This one is the link. Let's click on that. So the download link didn't work. I wonder what was going on. 
I'm going to click this link again. I don't know if it quite worked the first time. Where is my link? Normally it pops up on a second page. Where the heck is it? Oh, see, my pop-ups are blocked. That's why. Okay. So my block, my pop-up blocker was blocking the pop-up. So I had to allow pop-ups from this website. So once you click that and your pop-ups blockers are modified to allow this website to give you a pop-up, then it will pop up. Okay, so it's gonna look the same up here, another ad, and then here is the second page where you can actually download. Once I got the pop-up blocker canceled for this website, I had to click it a couple of times. So don't be surprised if that happens to you. Just click it once, give it a second. If nothing happens, just click it again. That's fine. I, I'm gonna, I'm doing a video, so I'm just gonna show you how to download. If you want to sub, subscribe, uh, like support the them, then by all means go for it. I'm just gonna show you how to download the mod. Click that button. There should be a pop-up up here that shows that I'm downloading something. I know it's safe. Keep. Yes, thank you. Save as. Well, this is. I'm just clicking save as. I'm just going to click OK. I just want to see what it's named. I'm going to make sure it's saving it as an SCS file. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to save it to the desktop. That way I can find it real easy because well, I have to move this file to that mod folder um, in the documents folder that I showed you earlier. So I want to make sure it's in a spot where I can find it. Don't get intimidated by the craziness of saving a file location. Just put it on your desktop and then save it. And then we'll figure out what to do with it in just a second. So it should just take a second to download that video or that file. Oh, let me bring up my folder again. and I will show you. Okay, so now we've downloaded that file, that .scs extension file to my desktop. It's sitting there right there. I can see it on my other screen. So um, in case you lost this thing, just go down here to your file, click it. That'll bring you this pop-up window. Um, let's just start at the home. In case you've got something that looks different, just start from home. And then you're gonna wanna find something down here that says documents. And then click on documents, just left click it once. That'll bring up this. Yours may look different because you might have other games and other folders and stuff, but you're gonna look for the one that says American Truck Sim and double click that. And then again, yours will look similar, but it might be a little different and it should look the same because we're all on Steam and we're all playing the same game. But what you're looking for is the mod folder. Double click on that. Now this is the same as same condition as when we started this video earlier. It's empty. Um, I've got mods in my game from the Steam Workshop, but this mod is uh, from that external third party website. So let's go over and grab it off of our desktop and drag it into this folder. You're just going to drag it and drop it. Hopefully you know what that means. There it goes. And this is an SCS extension file. The SCS is just the dot number or the dot letter at the very end of the file name. So the file name is this big long string of words and then at the end it says dot SCS. That means we did it right. Okay. So this is everything looks good. It is what it is. I mean, I can't, we just got to go into the game and take a look at it and see if it worked. Now I'm already in the game and it's not going to show up. I guarantee you. Oh my God, it is. Never mind. I thought I was going to have to reload the game. See, I'm learning as you go. I thought I was going to have to reload the game to get that to pop up, but it's in there. Oh, man, this game just is, it just keeps amazing me because I remember the back in the day, you would have to literally log out of your game and log back in so that the the app the mod would be here and here it is it's just doing it for us automatically without having to log out that's awesome so um hopefully i made that as simple as i could i mean did i highlight it oh it's highlighted okay and then move it over and it's got it right up there see it's there i'm gonna move it down to my other trucks my other mod trucks so they're all kind of in the same area where is it there it is. I've got a Kenworth mod, Peterbilt mod, and now a Tesla mod. And then don't forget to hit confirm changes before you leave. Um, this video is kind of convoluted to record because I did a lot of jumping back and forth between logging out of Steam and lo not logging out, logging out of the game. Um, just little stuff that I don't think will make it to the final video. But if something is not clear, please leave a comment and let me know. I will try and make this as clear as I can in editing. 
and I think that will give you everything you need to do. One of the hard things about mods sometimes, like if you do a visual mod, it's just going to start doing it right away. You don't, there's nothing to go find. It's just going to do it in the background and it's just going to be in the game when you start playing. But specifically when you do a truck mod, like I just did with the Tesla truck, now I got to go find in the game where to buy it or get it. Let's go to services. Let's go to truck dealers. Sometimes there's a mod dealer. Oh, mod dealer. I was looking for a tab on the left. There it is right there. What is this? Whoa, what is that? How have I not seen that before? That's freaking awesome. Here's the Tesla. We can buy it for $125,000. So there's a mod right there for you. There you go. There's your mods. I think I made it as simple as I possibly could. If I made it too convoluted or if I had any questions I'd left unanswered, let me know. Don, I hope that answers your question. And I uh, hope it tells everybody else that I will respond to your comments even when it's difficult. I put Don off for like four days thinking about how I was going to do this video and I finally got around to it. Boy, I hope I earned your subscription and like for this video. Um, I will see you guys next time. You guys go watch more videos. I'm going to go play some more games. And you might see this uh, Tesla truck in here since I did a video. Maybe I'll, since I did a video about the mod, maybe I'll just play with it for a little bit. I'll see you next time. Bye.